Edgar, thanks so much that uh, we've just finished the, the last event of your two days in Scotland, the uh, Time Banking Network. So, can you tell us a little bit about who, who have you been meeting and seeing in the last two days up here? Well, I've been meeting wonderful people. I've been meeting everybody from officials to members of councils to heads of departments to heads of time bank programs, to members of time bank programs, and then to people who are enrolled in a, in a course on uh, uh, common ground who are really wanting to change the world. So I've had a chance to meet with a good range of, of folks in different positions. Why do you think you're in such high demand? I think people now know that the old ways of doing things aren't working and even if they were working there's not enough money to continue doing simply more of the same that we need to look for new ideas but also in Scotland I'm feeling a new sense of confidence and a new willingness uh, that they can walk out on space without permission and create something new I think that comes from uh, from really the emergence of Scotland, the sense of self-confidence as a nation about where you're going. And that, uh, and people know that it's now in their hands and they're excited about that. One of the things that strikes me um, very different this time to the last visit is the interest from local authorities and the public services around the concept in time banking, not so much about funding time banks, but actually to embrace the values within their own thinking and practices. I've never heard or seen that before. Is that something that uh, you've picked up and is, is that a hope perhaps that that interest and commitment to learn about uh, the, the time banking approach within the, the authorities themselves could be the catalyst for a, a real growth in, in the period ahead? Well, I think we've gained a credibility. For decades, we've been talking about citizen participation, citizen engagement, parent participation, and everybody's been, uh, been exhorting it and saying and calling for it, and different people have been promising to deliver it, and I don't know of anything that's delivered it in the way time banking has, Absolutely. so that we represent uh, at least a credible possibility for something we've known. They've been preaching this in social work, in the ministry, in teaching. We know that participation matters, and we haven't been able to get it. And time banking does get attention and does get engagement. Well, Edgar, there's a taxi waiting for you just now, and that old proverbial question, what's your last statement to us as you were catching a bus and leaving us? Have you got a sentence that you would uh, sum up the two days in, in Scotland for us? My hope is that I've set in motion a dynamic process and that since I'm the bad penny that comes back, the fact that people know I'm going to be coming in September to say, well, what have you done since I've seen you in May? That they will feel a responsibility to produce something that will give us an opportunity to really dig in and take the next step.